Well, good morning, you two. Um, here we are for our first maths lesson. As weird as this is, me sitting here in my kitchen talking to the iPad instead of you lovely children. Big special hello to my lovely dolphins. I hope you're all okay. Hopefully outside in the garden if you have one enjoying the sunshine. If not, a good walk for an hour or a cycle ride. That's what we need to be doing. Now, a little bit of time for maths. I know that some of you were here on the last day and we learnt a little bit about empty number lines, but that's what we're going to be focusing on today. Before we do that, just going to do a quick reminder on how we've been adding numbers up until this point. So if you want to get your maths book, that little maths book that you took home at the end of term, it was half a maths book. And then you can have a little practice with me as we're going along. So I've written a number sentence here. So if you could write that 28 plus 35, and then we're going to draw the correct number of tens and ones. So I've got two tens. eight ones. Then I'm going to add three more tens and five more ones. And then we'll count them all together to work out the answer. We've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I know that's eight, so 58, 59, 60, and three more here. The answer is 63. Really hope that's what you got to. If not, don't worry, just keep practicing a bit more and we will get there. Now, so for this morning, we're going to be concentrating on learning about empty number lines. You will hopefully remember in reception in year one, you had um, little number lines that had dinosaurs on that you would use to help you add numbers. The problem when we get to year two is that those number lines only go up to 30. And we're working with numbers over 30. So this won't help us. Number lines don't help us in year two. Empty number lines do. So we need to have a number sentence. I'm going to start with small numbers so we can work out how to do the empty number lines, not necessarily using it for those big numbers just yet. So we'll start with the number sentence 14 add five equals and then the first thing you need to do for an empty number line is draw a line second thing put a dot at the beginning when we normally using a number line we would start counting from the number 14 so I'm going to put 14 at the beginning of the number line. And then we would normally count on five. So I'm going to do five little jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Just like we normally would do if we had a paper number line in front of us. So 14 plus five. And then I'm going to count along from 14 counting the jumps as I go. Start with 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and I'll write 19 underneath. And there's my answer. Now I know a lot of you can do this in your head but remember we're learning how to use an empty number line to help us add. I'm just using simple numbers here so that we're concentrating on this part. Next number sentence is going to involve just 20s. So we're going to have the number sentence 32 plus 50 equals. So you can write that in your little maths book. Try and make sure you're writing one number in each square nice and neatly. I know it can be tricky to draw the line straightly. So if you've got a ruler, that's always really handy. So 32 add 50. Again, I start with drawing a line as straight as I can. Dot at the beginning. Start with 32, so I write 32 underneath the dot. 
and this time I'm adding 50 five tens. So I'm going to do five bigger jumps, five jumps of 10. And to remind myself that those are jumps of 10, I'm going to write 10 in the middle of each jump. I'll just give you a moment to catch up with that. Nine, dot at the beginning. 32 at the beginning. That's the number we're starting from. Then I'm adding 55 jumps of 10. Now, because we've added jumps of 10, I'm going to count in tens. So 32 and 10 more, three tens, one more 10 is 42. And this time, because the jumps are bigger and I've got more space, I am going to write the number that I've just added right where the jump meets the line. And you see that 42, right where the jump meets the line. 42, 32, 42, 52. And as soon as you get that first number correct, you can then hear the pattern. So it goes 32, 42, 52, 62, 72, 32, 42, 52, 62, 72, 82. And that's your answer. 82. Hoping that makes sense. Normally I'd be asking you questions at this point and going, does anybody have a question? Is there anyone that's stuck? Does anyone not understand? But of course I can't do that now. So I'm really hoping that I'm going slow enough for you. <coughs> Excuse me. But if you do have any questions, email. Email either me, Miss Day or Miss Ritchie at year2 at Hawley.Surrey sch.uk. I feel like I'm on telly doing that now. I might even write the email address at the top for you later. If you have got any questions on that, please email us. We are all eager to hear from you, especially if you're stuck with something or even just want to share your photos or anything. I'm going off tangent now. I'm going to go back to the maths. So another number sentence. This time we're going to do 36 add 21 equals so draw a line next thing can you remember what you need to do that's right draw a dot and then right 36 that's where we're starting from underneath the dot this time I'm going to add two tens and one one. Two big jumps of ten and one jump of one. I'm going to write ten in each big jump so I don't forget. Thirty-six I've written. I've used that number from the number sentence. Then I add on, count on, 21. 36, add 10. 46, add 10. 56. Now don't forget, I'm now adding 1s. Don't suddenly, oh yeah, I know what I'm doing. I'm adding 10s. 56, 66. No. 1. 56 and 1 more. That's right, 57. 57. And I'm going to leave that one up there and write two more number sentences for you to try at home and then we'll work them out together. So the next one, I'm going to get a different coloured pen if I can. Where are my pens that I brought from school? Here we go. Oh, orange, lovely. Let's go with 40. 1 plus 29 equals and then nice green one after you've done that one we're going to do 
53 add 28 equals okay you can see the leg of my board is slowly going down so i'm going to lift it up while you have a go at those two How are you doing? 41 plus 29. Have you drawn the first thing or the first thing? The line. That's right. Straight line. Dot at the beginning. Give you a moment. Remember, if you can't remember what you're doing there, have a look here. What did I do here? showing patience when I've got nobody to look and help I just have to sit here this is very weird but I hope it's helpful so we've got a fly coming at me we've got 41 plus 29 41 at the bottom 10 20 10 20 because as you're doing it you can have a little look and see if you've got the same as me. Nine ones. Got it. No, I haven't. Forty one. Ten more. Four tens. One more ten. Five tens. Forty one. Fifty one. 61 and counting in one 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 I might just check that because there was a lot of ones to add and I don't want to make a mistake by miscounting 41 51 61 62 Two, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Brilliant, that's the same answer as I got two times. So I've checked it and the answer is 70. And then the last one. 53 plus 28. Number line, empty line. I wonder if you've already worked out the answer. Have you already put your dot? 53 goes at the beginning. Then I'm going to add 28, two big tens. How many ones? That's right, eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put 10 in the middle so I do not forget that I'm adding 10s there. And I'm going to go 53, 10 more, 63, writing it just where the jump meets the line. 63, you can see it's going down, there you go, 63, 73, and they're adding ones, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81. I'm just going to check that again. 53, 63, 73, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81. Did you get those before me? Have you mastered empty number lines? We're going to do another video that we'll put on tomorrow on how we subtract using empty number lines. But why not have a go? Get your grown up at home to write you some number sentences. 
Focus on numbers, grown-ups, where the answer is less than 100. But any two-digit numbers at all where the answer is less than 100 and give it a go. Good luck. Miss you guys. Have fun with this. Keep that learning up, but remember to enjoy the sunshine and time with your family. See you soon. Bye-bye.